what is up guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to another chill street photography walk and talk today's video is going to take place on the unfamiliar streets of new york city i spent 10 days in new york for new york fashion week and i took many many photos over 9,000. <laughs> this street photography session will be taking place in lower manhattan the chinatown and wall street areas specifically and I started at 6 a.m. <laughs> so these are the steps of my hostel that I am groggily making my way out of. And I shot from sunrise to sunset. And as you can see, this is Bowery Street in Chinatown. And it is very much sunrise. That's that beautiful pink glow you're seeing everywhere. Now, I actually thought that I would get most of my best photos in the early morning. I thought the sunrise light would really hit nicely and give me a lot of great opportunity. But it turns out that Almost all of my best photos were taken between 1 and 3 p.m., so stay tuned for those a little later on in the video. Making my way from Chinatown down to Wall Street in that area, I really wanted to explore because I saw a lot of really interesting buildings. And this Jenga building is one of them, but this bizarre windowless building was another one. I was so curious. Like, what the heck is this? Who works here? Why don't they have windows? After ogling the windowless building for some time, I continued down the street, making my way towards the tallest buildings in sight. I always like grabbing little detail shots of streets and things along the way, and there was plenty of opportunity for that. My eye was caught by this interesting little fan of architecture, and getting closer I found that it was the Oculus, which I believe is a part of the World Trade Center and has been built in the wake of 9-11. It's also really, really close to Ground Zero, but I had already visited Ground Zero earlier and it seems to be roped off at night and was still roped off at this time in the morning, so I wasn't able to get a shot for this video. The Oculus was open, however, and I got these really, really cool architectural shots. And then the sun started to rise and started to hit the buildings nearby. And as you can see in the next few video clips, there's some really, really beautiful early morning sunbeams. And finally, I see this sunbeam hitting the building and I get my first good shot. <laughs> my first shot that I was proud of. And following my way down that road, I come to Wall Street. And oh my god, <laughs> it's quite a bit different than I had imagined it would be. There's much more densely packed buildings than I had pictured. The streets are very narrow, but it indeed is Wall Street, as you can see. Try to time lapse. Not a great time lapse, but give me points for trying. <laughs> There's lots of opportunities to take photos with really beautiful leading lines and there's also a lot of really great opportunities to kind of isolate a subject in frame by using use of heavy shadows and then one single sunbeam. While I was walking I saw this like Staten Island ferry and I wanted to see how much it cost and it turned out it was free and you could see the Statue of Liberty from it and at this point I hadn't seen the Statue of Liberty yet so I was like let's, let's hop on. Hopped on the ferry, uh, not sure what to expect, and it turned out to be a really nice experience. It was a beautiful view of Lower Manhattan, and a view of the Statue of Liberty, which is so much smaller than I thought it was. I don't know why, I thought it was like the size of a skyscraper. It wasn't, it, it's, it's small. It's like, you know, <laughs> you can measure the height of it in people. <laughs> here's, here's a triptych, I'm very proud of my triptych. So yeah, all the pictures that I got of it are kind of it off in the distance, which is fine. Spent all of 15 minutes on Staten Island, got one good photo, here it is, and then I decided it was time to head back. Kind of haunted this little boy in the yellow raincoat a little bit because it was a great color and it kind of went with the, uh, the railings. And then I took a nap on the other side. I literally lay down in this park and slept for 45 minutes. And then I did a photo shoot and then the footage that you're seeing now is from around 1 o'clock when I was back at it, back at the street photography. And I found this building, which was right by the Oculus and had a black reflective surface. And tell me these aren't great photos. I'm very proud of how those photos turned out. The nearby skyscrapers at this point were reflecting the high noon sun onto the ground, creating this really, really flattering, really even light. Took the opportunity there for some street style I was kind of hoping somebody fashionable would walk through, but I never expected it would be this fashionable. And then I stood at this corner a long time, missed this shot, unfortunately, but it's still cool, and really, really wanted to get some more pictures of street style or just something interesting using this light off this building. So I got a few little shots. Uh, this shot of the ice cream thing, I waited, I waited for the perfect shot and I could not get it. <laughs> so finally I moved on, found a few more beams to isolate subjects in, and then, to my joy, 
I found another reflective wall. This reflective wall was beside this monolithic building. It was wild, and this is raw footage. That's what it looked like just looking at it. Very cool. Stood here for almost half an hour, probably waiting for like the perfect person to walk through. And I got a lot of cool pictures. And then I came back to this area by Wall Street and photographed this cathedral, question mark, again. I photographed it earlier and photographed it now and decided to try this puddle thing that every New York street photographer does. <laughs> and I think the results were pretty fun. I don't know, uh, you know, a little cheesy maybe, but <laughs> fun nonetheless. Continued down and at this point I'm kind of walking along the water's edge, but in the city, if you know what I mean. And at this point, the sun is setting, and I'm kind of thinking like this is my last hour, so I'm just trying to eke out as many photos as I can in the time that I have left in the daylight. Unfortunately, because the buildings are so tall, you lose the sun a lot earlier than you'd think. <laughs> so I lost the sun probably around 3.30 or 4, and spent the rest of the day kind of chasing around looking for it, and taking whatever random photos that I could find. And I think some of them are pretty neat. But alas, eventually it came time to walk home. We had lost the sun in the area with the big buildings <laughs> and my street photography opportunities had dried up. And now it's time to walk home and just enjoy the peaceful sunset, which is peaceful might be the wrong word because it is New York. <laughs> Very little is peaceful in New York, but <laughs> I felt at peace. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this little glimpse of my time in New York. I will see you guys next week for another New York themed video. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next week. And until then, I want you guys to stay sharp and don't forget to keep shooting. Bye guys.